You don't want to give your killers any motivation or reason behind what they are doing. Fine. You want to make your horror movie like a music video. Fine. But for the love of God, shut Sherry Moon Zombie up. <laughs> thousand corpses. Now tell me not. That is an awesome poster. Now granted, all the posters that were done by fans are awesome. But this poster, it makes you feel like it's a 70s or 80s slasher film. And that's what this film tries to be, is in 70s or 80s slasher film. And that just works. It is not easy to tell a scary story. But back in the 70s, 80s, even 90s, people were telling the most simplest of stories. But it's the way they told it. It didn't need graphic violence. It didn't need disturbing imagery. It just needed a scary space of a setup. Granted, this film has disturbing imagery and gory violence. But it's the way they told the story. It's like you're telling the story of Jack the Ripper. Yeah, he killed five people. There you go. That didn't scare you. But if you were to tell it like, he watched her from the alleyway. He wore a black hat and an overcoat that was darker than the night. The unknowing woman walking to her house, going to be in the comfort of her bed, was about to die. He didn't care what he was about to do as he walked casually over to her. He raised his knife. Stab. She felt the sheer pain shivering down her spine. Stab. Blood was all over the ground. Stab. One more, and she was dead. Stab. Her body lay on the London floor. Night. Came day, and her corpse was found. Now that either scared the hell out of you, or just made you think I was a total creep. But if you choose to watch this film, you may feel like a creep. But it's it's a really well executed, really well told story. It has decent characters for the heroes and heroines, but for the evil people, they're even better than the main characters because. They're so energetic, they have such life to their characters, they're so casual, they bounce back and forth between dialogue and it's just, it works. So yeah! Whoa! Dr. Satan! Overall, I give House of a Thousand Corpses a four out of five. I actually surprisingly dug it. It was groovy. I am Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Movie Reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below, and so leave comments and subscribe.